Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today has been a busy day. Today was picture day at school, and of course it was one of those days when my hair decided they it wasn't gonna cooperate, and um, it was just busy, and pictures were taken both during my third grade Bible class and, or sorry, my fifth grade Bible class and my third grade Bible class, so I taught a lot less Bible, but that's okay. Um, it's just, it was nice to kind of have a little bit of a break from teaching. And then I went to the doctor around two o'clock. I had some papers I had to get um, filled out for some things. And then I also ended up having him get me, give me a prescription for an infection. And then I had him look at my leg because my leg has been having an issue and it turns out it's infected i have a cut that's infected and so i needed medicine for that so it was just it was nice to be able to go to this doctor and he was able to pick your this and that and it was one-stop shop and um normally when you go to the doctor you wait a long time but i talked to him this morning and he said yeah come around this a certain time and you'll be able to get right in so yeah it's been a crazy day busy day um Thomas had school, Thomas had speech, and then while Thomas was having speech, I was at the mall trying to fill prescriptions, and Dan was at the mall trying to run around to the grocery store and get different things that we needed, so yeah, but it's it's been a good day. Um, the Lord has continued to take care of us, and we'll go see what Thomas is up to. Not only was it picture day today at school and added that added some craziness of not having Bible, I got home and was sitting at the kitchen table working on some things and our house helper was here and I'm sitting on the kitchen table and I'm like, oh wait, that's an earthquake and it, it was kind of long. Normally they're, they're pretty quick and you don't really notice it. And this one was only three hours away from us. It was technically in Dabao, and that's where we are. Um, we didn't get hurt, nothing, nothing like broke or fell or anything. So that's good. It was just one of those things. It's like, oh yeah, this is an earthquake. And it took a minute to register. Dan said he even um, like saw his Legos and things falling over and so he went and crawled under a desk just not knowing and so yeah that's what happened today it's more fun in the philippines it's been neat thomas is into this pretend play a lot and um even sitting in his car seat on the way home he was having his hands like talk to each other and then I guess his hands got in a fight and it was just it was neat to see him kind of have his own conversations and language and just the different things that he was doing and that was really cool to see and now he's just playing with his toys and being a boy and making messes and we're just enjoying the evening. It's nice we've kind of changed up how we do things. Normally we would um, go to the mall and get some things that we needed while Thomas was at speech and then we'd pick him up from speech and then we'd go back to the mall and have supper. And depending on traffic and things, that could just be a really late evening. And so we have decided if we're able to, to go to the mall and get what we need but then also get food before we pick Thomas up from speech and then we eat that on the way home and then we get home and we can play and just relax and we're not we're getting home at like 6 or even maybe 5 45 instead of 6 30 or 7 o'clock and it gives us an evening because otherwise twice a week we, we wouldn't have an evening because Thomas has speech. So, it's just, 
in the midst of craziness with school and different things, it's so nice to be able to just enjoy family and have and have a good time together. does and um, we call it little worshiper because he loves the dance to worship music and we know a lot of people just miss seeing him and with the with the um, with the vlog that way you're able to watch videos of Thomas and just see what he's up to and see him enjoying life and watching able to watch him as he grows and develops I guess you kind of see a little bit of his world. So hopefully, um, if you haven't subscribed to Little Worshipper, I hope that you do, because that, that's a channel that will have just, just Thomas on it, and I will make sure that we put as many videos on a regular basis as we possibly can. I'm wanting to poop? Do, do. Donkey! Donkey! Let's go find some other animals.
We gotta clean all this up, Thomas, eventually. Before bed. You'll break it. Flip it over so it doesn't break. Put it right. Really? That's what our evening looks like after speech and everything. We try to get home and have enough time to just hang out as a family and give Thomas plenty of time to play and get some energy out before bed. And then around um, sometime after eight o'clock and before nine o'clock, we start the bedtime process. And Thomas and I's goal is Thomas to be in bed by nine and I like to go to bed early too. I like to be in bed by nine because I have to be up at five to get ready for school and everything. So it's just, it's nice to have an evening to just watch Thomas play and have the space so that he can play. And Dan kind of gets to do his own thing on the computer and I get to watch videos or just hang out with Thomas and yeah so I will show you what we're up to and then we shall sign off from there have a great day God bless so this is what Thomas is up to this evening he loves to spin he does this out of the water in the bathtub loves to spin loves to reenact crashes and things. I guess that's all boy. And I just try to not get ran over. And Dan likes to sit at the computer and listen to videos and watch videos. So that's, that's what we have to do. It's just so fun to get to watch Thomas. And he gets his energy out this way. Hey Thomas, can you say bye bye? Oh. Say bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Hey, say bye bye. Bye bye, bye work. Say bye bye, night night. Bye bye, bye work. Okay, I guess he's not gonna say bye. That's all for now. Bye.